Hello everybody, welcome to Dak Bear Productions, and welcome to the East Coast Snow Bomb, as they called it, here in Jersey. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to a train show today, but they're calling this a snow tornado bomb. Just check your local weather. Uh, they got all kinds of names for this storm, but us people in Jersey, this three feet of snow ain't nothing. I remember back in 1978, I couldn't even get out of my house. Of course, I was only about, you know, I was younger, much younger back then. But I remember the 10 and 12 foot, 14 foot snow drifts and stuff like that. You couldn't even get out of your own house. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look around. So, uh, I am not going anywhere in this mess. So, what to do on a day like this? I know what you're thinking. Skiing, snowmobiling, ice skating. None of that's for me. I hate this crap. I'm going back inside and we're going to play with, uh, we're going to go back on Conahay Rail today. All right, so we're back inside uh, with Conahay Rail behind me. And uh, so we're going to do a run instead. And that's what's nice about having um, model trains inside because you can take refuge from what I just showed you, storms and stuff, and nobody would know any different if I didn't show that <laughs> beginning footage that there's a huge, uh, they're calling it a snow bomb, which I don't consider that a snow bomb after going through what I did in 1978. But <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. Uh, today we're going to run uh, some Jersey Central. Today on Conahay Rail, we'll be running the Lionel Legacy. Central Jersey F3 locomotives. The Lionel Legacy Central Jersey F3AA set, row number 56 and 57, were in the 2014 Lionel Signature Edition catalog. These were run on a minimum curve of 031, and these are true uh, O scale locomotives. These were sold as a AA set, one powered, one non-powered. Then there were two B units that were available separately for sale. You can either buy a non-powered version or a powered version or both and make an ABBA. I went online to research these locomotives and it wasn't hard to find photos. Matter of fact, I found a ton of photos, so these must have been like a fan favorite. I always liked the Central Jersey tangerine and blue colors over the green and cream, as they called it on the F units. Uh, so these are my favorites to have. I did find photos of number 56 and 57. 56 seems to be, there seems to be a lot of pictures online of that, especially uh, professional ones. And I was always curious, uh, after getting this set, uh, if they actually did run a, a B unit, and they did uh, run these as an ABA set. I did find a couple photos of uh, the Central Jersey uh, being run as an ABA. I could not find an ABBA uh, run, though. So, anyway, the way I have it set up is the way I've seen it in the pictures and kind of funny how uh, 56 and 57 you can see pictures of them together as well as far as the line L set number 56 is the power unit number 57 is the dummy for those who don't know what a B unit is the F3 B is just a locomotive without no cab. It does not have a cab on it. So it's just used as motive power. A B unit is also different than a slug unit. I'm sure you guys heard the term slug. But that's for a different video. However, uh, I noticed this B unit did not have a road number on it. At least I thought not. When I did the research on this B unit... And found out Jersey Central really did have one. They said that the road number was actually the letter D. And after looking 
on the Lionel um, B in it, it does have the letter D on it right there. So I thought that was kind of cool. I <laughs> learned a lot. Uh, so people asked uh, in a couple of my last videos, how do I find this information when I do these review videos and these run videos? I just go out on Google websites. Uh, there is a website called Fallen Flags Railroads that has a lot of information, a ton of pictures. If you're looking for a specific railroad uh, that has been around for a long time, check fallenflagsrr.com. Uh, they have a ton of information. I use the Conroe Historical Society site for a lot of my Conroe information. And then um, Morning Sun Books is a wonderful publishing company that has a ton of books, a ton of information, and a ton of photos. Check them out too. Morning Sun Books. As I mentioned in the line L set, the CNJ F3A number 57 is a dummy in it. The F3 was built by EMD, Electric Motive Division. It is a 1500 horsepower uh, freight and passenger hauling car body diesel locomotive. These got the nickname of covered wagons by rail fans and also uh, railroad workers. These were built in LaGrange, Illinois. A total of 1,111 cab A units were built and 696 B units were built. The build date on these were from July 1945 to February 1949. The F3 used four EMD D17B or D27B traction motors. The prime mover, what many call the engine, is an EMD 576B. The 576 designates how many cubic inches the engine has per cylinder. The F3A has a V16 diesel prime mover or engine. So take the engine model number 567 and multiply it by 16 and that's how the, that's the total displacement which should come out to 9072 cubic inches the maximum speed of the F3 was 103 miles an hour the F3 was actually the third model in the GM EMD's high successful F series units the very first F unit was actually an EMD FT Right after that was the EMD F2. Known survivors. Steamtown National Historic Site in Scranton, Pennsylvania is home to the former Bangor and Aristoc F3s. 44 owned by the Tri-State Chapter of the NRHS in Morristown, New Jersey. And 46 owned by the Anthracite Railroads Historical Society. Both engines were initially restored as Jersey Central 56 and 57. I ran into a video on YouTube that was uploaded in 2009 which shows number 56 or Central Jersey 56 and 57 the real ones shoving some freight around. We'll take a look at that here in a moment. So here's a short little clip of a one minute video uploaded by YouTube user called Rolling Switch, uh, this was uploaded in 2009, AmericanRailVideo.com is also a website, um, and this is CNJ56 and 57. But as of 2012, Jersey Central F3 number 56 and 57 at Steamtown were repainted as Lackawanna number 663 and 664 in 2012. These engines along with BAR number 42 are the oldest chicken wire style F3s in existence and are used on most long distance excursions from the park. Alright, so we'll run our Lionel CNJ number 56, 57, the B unit number D, and model form because that's the only way we'll be able to enjoy it now. Roger that. Please start her up and stand by. 
for track orders. Copy that, dispatcher. Starting up the engine. 